Hi, welcome to another member meeting of the Master Suits Power Party. This is September 14th, 2023. Um, my name is James O'Keefe, captain of the Master Suits Power Party, and I'm joined by uh, Steve Revelak. Excellent. <laughs> Good evening, Jamie. Good evening, Steve. Uh, okay, so we had some technical difficulties with our last meeting. Um, so just there may be some things that are duplicates here. But um, OK, so for reports, um, we had some back and forth about the rain on Saturday, but um, it made sense to go forward. With the mapping event, it looks like the rain won't be that bad. Um, uh, however, the party that was scheduled afterwards is moved to Sunday. Uh, details are at masspirates.org. And then, um, yeah, notices have gone out, all of the stuff. So, thank you so much, Jamie. My pleasure. Do you have anything to report? Yeah, this is, uh, you know, for me, um, fall town meeting is pretty much, uh, it, Arlington's fall town meeting is taking up a lot of my time and will for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> so I could, I could report on that, but it may not be generally relevant. <laughs> okay, no worries. Uh, so for decisions and endorsements, uh, Joe has mentioned that he would like to step down from being treasurer in order to run for office. For those of you who don't know, if you are a chair or a treasurer of a PAC, uh, a master's it's PAC, not federal, um, then you are not allowed to run for office. At least you're not, not allowed to run for any state or local office. You could still run for federal office. Um, and so we also need to hold elections in at the winter meeting. So um, I guess best to start planning that. Um, that would give him, so we have a meeting on October, October 14th. Um, that will be the fall conference. And then roughly three months after that would put us into January, which would be fine if he wants to run for um, an, an office, um, a, a state office. <clears throat> so plan for elections in January, I guess, mm -hmm. and we will get that together um, and put forms out. Um, other comments? No, that's a, that sounds fine. Great. Uh, so I guess at the upcoming conference, um we could decide what this what the winter one will be um would be good to do a poll for different dates in january um, mm -hmm. so uh, put that together um okay so next week is extinction rebellion boston's week of rebellion um they have a bunch of actions planned and i know i'm I said I would volunteer and take photos and participate. Um, is that something we should support? We I think so. Had. Yes, I, I am. I am supportive of supporting it. So, all in favor of supporting it? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Great. Um, so, last week we did talk about attending the Boston Anarchist Book Fair, which is November eleventh and twelfth. I just want to make sure, uh, since I didn't see it in the notes, um, yes, we will. I uh, motion to attend or participate in otherwise and promulgate to all our members. Uh, so moved. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Great, motion passes. U.S. Power Party news, um, unfortunately, neither of our representatives are uh, attending today. 
um, unfortunately. So um, I know they elected a new chair, a new captain. Um, and I think there's been some other folks who have new folks who've come in. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I don't have any other updates for that. And then September 16th, we have the camera mapping outing um, at uh, the at the um, public library. Uh, actually, I noticed we had Meriden Street. I think we actually went to a different, hmm, went to the main one. I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> So I make sure we're all on the same page here. Uh, I have as Brennan Street. All right, I'll I'll check with John and make sure we're we're all on the same page. Uh, I searched for East Boston Public Library and that's what I got. So, anyways, um, we're going to meet at noon, uh, and yeah, the party moved to Sunday. So, uh, okay. So October 14th conference, um, the, the um, advance instead of retreat in uh, Acton has been suggested. Um, I figure, I don't know. COVID seems to be on the rise at the moment, and who knows what happens with with winter. So my guess would be this would be our last in-person one until the spring. That sounds so, reasonable. <clears throat> right, so, so at least winter would be virtual. Um, but where do we want to have this one? So the October, I have not given that... I have not given that any thought. I am sorry. That's okay. Um, so at this point, we have the the Acton's been suggested. Getting to that by public transit's not exactly easy. I know I haven't had the opportunity. Life's just been too busy to come out and visit. Sorry, Mickey. Um, looking forward to it on Sunday. <clears throat> um, I looked... Uh, well, let me, let's go look. I mean, we could return to the Somerville Public Library. Uh, it is a nice library, and it is near the, um, it is near uh, public transit, um, such as it is in the great Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Uh, okay. Where is this? Central? Okay. Not our problem. Not what we're looking at. Central. So the West Branch is open on the 14th of October. However, it does close at 1230, which is the problem on Saturdays. I mean, it worked. Um, it worked. The last event we had there, I thought, went well. So I'm, you know, I'm fine with the idea of doing another one there. Um, I am as well. Okay. So all in favor of Somerville Public Library West Branch? For the 14th. No, for, for the, the yeah. The uh, yep, I'm in favor. Okay, great. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, I, I, great. Um, okay, so... I will go book that. <clears throat> um, no update on local outreach. Um, and then the only other action item there is the video newsletter pause podcast. I know you said you're busy for uh, with Arlington uh, town meeting. Uh, does that preclude attending Pirate News on Sunday or not? No, it does not. So sorry, I did not say that well. Are you available Sunday? <laughs> I can make it on Sunday. Excellent, great. Um, 
sounds good, then um, then let's schedule it. We'll get that done. And that is all that there is on the agenda. Um, for those, I know we've we've mentioned it in our email update, and for those who um, uh, and for those who listened to the last Pirate News, we talked about this, but the Copyright Office wants to hear from you as to what they should do about generative AI and copyright law. Currently, they said, if a machine does it, it's not a person, no copyright for you. But, you know, who knows? They're, they want more information about that mm. and people's thoughts on it. So... Um, We'll put a link in the description. It'll it's already linked to in here in uh, the meeting notes. So if you want to go, you can also we'll uh, we'll have a post up about it as well. Um, so you can go and and check it out. Give your two cents, um, which is probably five cents after inflation, right? So we yep. always have to make the obligatory inflation joke. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, it's, it's gotten a lot better. It's a lot better this year than last year. Oh, agreed, agreed. Well, you know, all the corporations are like, well, ha, ha, we can go raise prices and people can't complain. <laughs> Profits for us. So, yeah. Plus all the shipping and other stuff. So. Yeah, but that's okay. They're raising interest rates to make sure that people go unemployed and, and lower inflation so that the... Well, I'll hold it down. All right. Um, do you have anything else to add, Steve? Uh, nothing here. All right. Uh, well, that was a rapid fire meeting. So, um, motion to adjourn. So moved. Aye. Aye. All right, then. Um, so, again, you can find us at masspirates.org. We'll upload this to our YouTube channel, which is at masspirates.tv. Anyways, always nice to have another domain. And um, we look forward to seeing you this Saturday or this Sunday. So you can check out either of those at masspirates.org. So thank you, Steve. I hope you have a wonderful evening, and good luck with uh, town meeting. Thank you, Amy. Bye, folks.